talk a little bit about uh, tone production, especially when playing fast. I got a really good question about that on my channel a couple days ago. I figured it'd be easier to just make a video and show you a little bit on the instrument. So a couple important things about tone quality. First of all, when you're playing fast, you really want to hang out in kind of like the middle of the bow, more or less, okay? Not too close to the frog, That'll be, that uses a lot of arm and it's hard to play fast and stay relaxed, and not too close to the tip. People are more likely to kind of hang out too close to the tip and you're not able to get as much pressure into the string when you're out here. It's more likely you'll get kind of a wispy sort of weak tone, especially when you're playing fast, like. It's just too far away from the weight of your arm. So I bring it in, it depends on where your bow hold is. The classical bow hold will kind of have you really down here, and then the balance point of the bow is, is closer to the frog, if your hand is all the way at the frog. When I'm playing really fast fiddle tunes, I, I usually choke up the bow just a little bit, and I, I end up putting my thumb like usually on the other side of the grip, so about there. So if my bow hold's a little bit higher up, my balance point's gonna be a little higher up. So it's, it's not quite at the middle, but it's not at like the traditional balance point either. I'm usually playing here, a little bit closer to the frog. Depends on how much bow I'm using, but about at the middle of the bow. Okay, that's gonna help a lot, um, is that you're playing at that balance point of the bow, okay? The higher you go up the bow, the higher your balance point gets. So you'll have to kind of feel that out and feel where that sweet spot is. So I recommend just like hanging out on an open string, doing whatever rhythm, that's a reel, or you can do a jig. And then maybe a scale. Those are good ways to practice just finding that, kind of settling into that uh, sweet spot of the bow. A couple more important considerations is how tight your bow is. So your bow, when you're playing faster, you want a little bit looser bow than if you're playing slower. So when I'm playing um, these Irish tunes, my bow is often a little bit looser. You can kind of see in the middle, it's usually for a classical bow hold, I could put, our bow tightness, I could put my pinky through the middle of the bow. It's just a little bit looser than that. So that's another thing to play with. And then last but not least, really important consideration, not a lot of people think about, is actually the left arm's um, role in tone. So you can kind of think, you know, a lot of people really focus on the bow side, which is which is important. Most of, most of what's happening is happening over here in your bow hold, okay? But a lot of people will start to sink down on this side, and then you're just making it harder on your bow hand. So I recommend, especially when you're trying to get a really solid, loud tone, there's a little lift in this side of the arm. So you're lifting up here so that you have a solid platform to relax onto. So make sure you have a little bit of energy going upward with this arm, and then you can really relax into this side and, and almost hang um, with your fingers here. So I'm really relaxed in my arm so that my fingers can be really connected. And I have a lot of pressure in these two fingers. So these are kind of the main two fingers squeezing the bow. I kind of call this my crab claw. <laughs> and those two fingers are really in charge of pushing the bow down. Okay. So a little bit of energy upward here, middle of the bow, loose-ish bow. I go a little higher up the stick, sink down in. But you see as I'm sinking down, I'm also pushing up. So there's like two forces coming together here. And then, so experiment with that and see, you know, how much grit you want in your sound. There's kind of a nice Goldilocks zone where you'll, you'll get a really clear percussive start, like hear that kind of bite to the beginning. Or sometimes I put the, the heavier part in the middle. It depends on what the tune calls for. But you can play with those two forces, up and down, squeezing the crab claw. I'm actually pinching those together kind of like that. So all of those can add some weight to your sound. And then my best advice is just sit there and play until it feels good, you know? Just 
practice tone. Don't worry about the tune for a second. Just try on an open string and the rhythm um, and then maybe a scale and then go back into the tune and see if that helped. All right, let me know if you have more questions about this. There's the school bell and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.